Welcome back, folks. Hit that like, subscribe button for me. Uh, you remember about a month ago, probably when that Young Thug YSL case came out, and maybe like a week later, uh, what was it? Uh, I don't want to call her a jailhouse assistant. That's what I'll say. Tried to s smuggle some drugs in uh, inside the Fulton County Jail. Her name was Chakur Michelle Ford. But she ended up leaving out of the jail and going on a run. But I think they caught her today. But uh, here's the backstory to it. A jail staffer who's accused of trying to smuggle in drugs into the Fulton County Jail. We first told you about this on Channel 2 Action News at 6. Deputies now looking for 24-year-old Tracara Ford. She was a contracted medical assistant at the jail. Investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln live tonight after learning about prior communication Ford was allegedly having with inmates there before getting caught with these alleged drugs. Ashley? That's right, Justin. What we know from those county documents that we've been going through all day today is that Ford ran out of these doors behind me and into a black Nissan Altima. That was after she was questioned about coming to work smelling like marijuana. Now, we also found in those county documents that Ford is accused of having communications with inmates in those days leading up to her running out of this building. The search for Tracara Ford, Fulton County Sheriff Patrick Labatt says has been ongoing since Saturday. We will not tolerate anybody bringing contraband in. Labatt says the 24-year-old, a contracted medical assistant for the jail, ran out of the facility Saturday after being questioned about returning to work smelling like marijuana. She drove away in this black Nissan Altima with a Tennessee tag 75A-R44. Documents reveal a captain reported she asked Ford if she had marijuana on her after smelling a strong odor. The captain states Ford told her no. But the document goes on to say the captain reported Ford eventually said she had been smoking in her car with the windows down before coming to work. When I read that she admitted she had been smoking, I found that to be astonishing. She gonna take me. Can you go back to jail and call my phone? We found these images of Ford on her Instagram page. Several posts shows her showcasing marijuana. A document indicates it was what was in a backpack Ford left behind that has her now facing five felony charges. You will go to jail. Inside that bag, sheriff's deputies found about 20 grams of suspected crack cocaine, 6.8 ounces of suspected marijuana, 200 cigarettes, and two packs of tobacco. A sad day in, in law enforcement when this happens. A warrant for Ford led me to this extended stay in Clayton County as her last known address. Here, employees confirmed with me she's been staying here for at least two months with her boyfriend. Workers say just last week the two got into a fight and Clayton County police were called. Fulton County records also indicate authorities turned up a recorded call on May 4th, allegedly between Ford and one or two inmates in which she says, quote, brought saran wrap and coffee. I know what I'm doing. Sheriff Labat says some people use those items in a false attempt to mask the scent of drugs. We want to make sure that we keep our community as safe as possible. Please submit a tip on, on our sheriff's app. And Ashley, this is not the first time a jail employee or contracted worker has been accused of trying to bring drugs into that jail, right? Yeah, sadly, it isn't, Justin. We did find out from the sheriff that they have had to deal with this in the past. However, he says they have zero tolerance for this. That's why they are actively looking for Ford again. They're asking anyone with information. She's driving a black Nissan sedan with those Tennessee plates. He's asking anyone with info to contact the sheriff's office. So they are actively looking for her, Justin. A story we will certainly stay on top of in the coming days. Thank you, Ashley. Ho, 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 ho. He ain't looking for her no more. They picked her ass up there in Granada, Mississippi there yesterday. She got to be one of the dumbest things. They need to keep her in there for a few. I ain't saying she one of the ones that need to stay in there for life. But she need to stay in there for a few. I tell you that. You got to be stupid, man. How you mess your life and your career up over 
Oh, that's what happened when these girls get them they get them jail jobs, man. I've seen it before. I've had it in my family. I already know. All right, hit that like subscribe button, y'all. They found old girl. She locked up. The streets are safer.